well-known face on the Egyptian political scene. And Mohammed Anwar al-Sadat is not the type to back down. If I have made a mistake, I'll admit to it. There is no problem in that. But we must all trust that we all care about our country. And going to such seminars and conferences strengthens our communication with the world. We shouldn't be so isolated. The world must see us keen on defending the rights of Egypt and its dignity. He's the nephew of the late President Anwar al-Sadat, still a hero to many almost 35 years on from his assassination. Al-Sadat is also the chief of the parliament's Human Rights Committee, and it's in that role that Al-Sadat is now in the spotlight. Recently, he took 10 other members to a human rights conference in Switzerland, defying an order from the parliamentary speaker to stay home. Critics claim the conference organizers are opponents of the Egyptian government. They did not follow the regulations and the bylaws, and that is the first problem. Second, the organization they met had issued many statements against Egypt that challenged the will of the Egyptian people after the June 30th protests. And they also have activities with the terrorist group the Muslim Brotherhood, the enemy of Egypt and its people. Al-Sadat has dismissed those claims. The organization is funded by the Swiss government and our meetings were in the presence of a representative from the Egyptian embassy who confirmed it supports Egypt in all fields. It's not the first time El Sadat has fallen foul of the speaker Ali Abdel Al. In this video, Abdel Al reacts angrily to El Sadat's request to review the payroll of army officers. <laughs> Abdel Al is a firm supporter of the current president, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, but critics claim he's restricted the freedoms of MPs. So Abdel Al's response to Al-Sadat's defiance is eagerly awaited. Some MPs want Al-Sadat hold before the Ethics Committee and stripped of his job on the Rights Committee. The majority of the parliament members are known to be strong supporters to the president. That's why activists believe that sending Al-Sadat to the Ethics Committee will be considered a step to silence any opposition in the legislative chamber. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.